Okay, so um, this one's made by Matteo, and um, it's called Celebrity Murder. <laughs> this one is called Celebrity Murder. Oh, oh my god! Wow! There was a celebrity murdered here. I'm gonna investigate. But first, I'm gonna get my nap on. What's the number two here for? Is that like the, the evidence, like exhibit A, exhibit B? It's usually exhibit A and B, not exhibit two. Wow. Fancy cars? Welcome back to Celebrity Murder Trial with Joshi. Well, you see the problem here is there was a celebrity here, right? And usually celebrities have blood on the insides of their body. You see, you follow me so far? But this celebrity, a lot of their blood is on the outside of their body and it's staining towels and staining the pool area. Now see, that's a bad thing. Well, I don't know, depending on what celebrity died here, it's a bad thing. This could be one of those housewives. If one of those housewives from Bravo is the one that died here, I don't feel too bad. Maybe this is Nicki Minaj's mansion. Let's just assume that. That's libelous. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Yeah, wow. Oh, boy. Hey, everybody. I'm here to investigate the crime scene. Step aside. Okay, we got some blood here. There's ex the, the exhibit three. Got it. I'm noticing a lot of blood over there, too. Yep, so we can conclude that this celebrity definitely lost some of their blood. Oh, my God. There's blood on the wall over there. We got blood there. There's a suitcase, so that means that they weren't suited to be a celebrity anymore. And that made them sad, and they killed themselves. All right, we solved the case. This isn't a murder. This is a suicide. Okay? So let's all just go home. Maybe we should investigate a little more. Like, what's in their refrigerator? They got any cold beers back here? Oh, look at that. Okay, now that I'm inebriated a little bit, I can conclude that there's no wrongdoing here. Case closed. Oh my god, I'm gonna chop my own head off in the fan. Why are there so many people investigating this? I know who did it. It was the maid. Right? Oh, there's blood on that suitcase over there. Wait a minute, let me taste this. Okay, actually, it's pizza sauce. This isn't a crime scene. This is a failed attempt at making a pizza pie. We can all go home now. Not before we do our exercises, apparently. Okay. That's weird. If I were to kill somebody, I would have used this vase over here. This vase is the perfect instrument of destruction. You take that, you stuff it over their head, they're walking around the room, they can't see. You push them into the wall right over there. Uh, I've concluded I don't want to be a detective anymore. I'm going to be a circus freak. Bye! So this one is called the Oscar Awards, <laughs> which is pretty self-explanatory. Keeping with the theme of celebrities, we've got the Oscar Awards here. Oh my gosh, I hope TMZ doesn't see me naked. Guys, what are you doing? Hey, oh my god. Guys, you're celebrities and you're hanging out outside the Oscar Awards naked. Oh my god, Perez Hilton's gonna see. Cover this up. Cover it up. All right, there. I just realized something, by the way. You blush when you go up to the naked art statue. Oh my God, what? I'm blushing and looking at the penis. Oh my God, what is happening in Animal Crossing? I'm getting a good look at that penis, it's eye level, and I'm blushing. What is happening to Nintendo? <laughs> Why is that in this game? So we got the Oscar award, uh, we got Oscar, the, the trophy statue award thing over here. Hey everybody, it's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock. I am now covering the Oscar Awards. That's a thing I'm doing now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. I'm not actually allowed in, but security is not around, so let's just go in real quick. And let's see if we can punch a few celebrities to make it into the tabloids. 
Random blonde guy punches Christina Aguilera. Nobody cares because she's not a celebrity anymore. Wow, look at this. I better take my seat. What are the Oscars? Is that for movies? I think that's for movies. Hey, who do you think's going to win? The women of Ghostbusters? Are you, are you kidding? There's no way they're going to win. Adam Sandler? No, no, no. He only makes movies for Netflix now. He's not, he's not up for an award. Kevin James? I think Kevin James is going to take it. For fat, oafish security guard. Oh my god, I won? Thank you. I didn't even, sorry, I didn't hear you at first. I was talking to the fancy lady over there. Um, so anyways, listen, you guys are amazing. I want to thank you all so much, each and every one of you, for subscribing to the YouTube channel and just being there when I needed you. I mean, whether it be romantically or emotionally or uh, physically, you've always been there for me, everybody. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be one of those people that makes a long speech, but this is something that's been a long time coming. Um, that's what she said. Listen, I wore my fanciest suit. I actually just came from a celebrity crime, uh, thing. I used to be a detective and now I'm a, a, a YouTube celebrity. Um, I just want to thank my mom, my dad, my, uh, my God, all four of them. Uh, I want to thank, um, Jesus for making dirt because as a young kid, I used to play in dirt and I used to think, one day, I'm going to play the role of a mud monster in a horror film. And, of course, that's what you nominated me for, uh, Muddy the Monster. And it was a hard role to play, specifically after about an hour when the mud started hardening and it was difficult for me to move. But uh, you guys have just been so supportive with your tweets, with your, with your Tinder requests, um, with your uh, erotic messages, with your fan fictions. And um, what? They're playing me off with the music? Okay, anyways, um, I just want to thank um, myself because it was all thanks to me. I'm the one who worked hard, you bunch of losers. That's right. I'm out of here. Just kidding. I love all of you. You're the best, especially those of you who have really good shiny big butts. I'm a big fan of shiny big butts, and uh, this, this trophy obviously has a nice shiny butt. You don't ever see the butt of the trophy of an Oscar. You notice that? Um, which I think is a little weird. I think you should hand it to me with the butt facing towards me so everybody could see Oscar's butt. Uh, it's a pretty good butt. It's a shiny golden butt. And frankly, I wish I had a shiny golden butt because uh, that'd be pretty fantastic. I'm not really sure who the two old ladies are behind me. I don't even know if they're really supposed to be here. Uh, they're just watching something on TV. I, I don't know. They're a little distracting. Don't worry. I'm powerful enough to have them killed afterwards. Um, but nobody will believe me because I'm rich and I'm a celebrity. Um, I want to thank Tom Hanks because Tom Hanks is the uh, voice of Woody from Toy Story. And uh, he actually helped me get my first, uh, my first wife. Uh, of course, as you know, I've been through seven marriages by now. Um, all of them ending in really bad divorces. But I keep going because I still believe in love. I think the eighth woman that I'm with, um, can't remember your name. I think it's uh, uh, Cobra. Cobra, you are the love of my life. I'm never going to stop loving you. Uh, at least not until tomorrow around lunch. Uh, oh, he's sweeping up back there. That's really... Oh, everybody's gone. What? Oh, I was talking for three hours. Everybody's gone, except for hipsters. Thanks. Listen, I just want to thank the hipsters for hanging out and listening to my whole speech, especially when they were busy protesting everything that America stands for. I just want to thank you. I know you got a busy schedule. Um, and I know it's hard for you to find me because you've only got one eye. The other one's um, hidden by your bangs. Um, I, I also want to thank the hipsters for stealing Josh Thomas's hairstyle there. The whole thing where your, your bangs are swooped down to one side. Uh, let's hope Josh Thomas, uh, and that's me, of course. Uh, let's hope I never actually uh, stoop so low as to wear a hat that looks like that and wearing uh, purple eyeshadow. Because as many of you know, I'm only into wearing red eyeshadow because it's the color of Satan. I know I talked about earlier how I had four gods or three or something, but in reality, uh, Satan is my god. Um, I'm trying to get Satan to be nicer to people. He's a little bit of a dick, if I'm being honest. I'm giving my speech. I'm not even actually um, up at the podium anymore. That's how much of a great celebrity I am. Um, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home, guys. Um, I'm gonna actually, actually, I'm gonna be at the uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna punch somebody because my career is going downhill. And as long as I keep doing awful things like showing my, my, my butt and and making sexy music videos, I'll still stay in the limelight. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and punch somebody because that'll, that'll get me on TMZ tomorrow. So uh, bye. Thank you. God bless Hollywood. I love all of you.